for a lot of new shooters, loading a magazine can be quite the challenge. So I'm going to show you a couple of techniques that I use and also show you some products that's going to make your life a lot easier. Joining us again on Shoot of the Series. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. We want to thank all of our followers for sticking with us. Um, if you haven't done it already, hit the like, hit the share, and also hit that little bell so you get instant notifications and you never miss a new episode. You can also check us out on our other social media platforms like uh, Patreon, but also lately on Parlor. So check us out. You'll be glad you did. Anyway, for today's discussion, we wanted to talk a little bit about loading magazines. We've talked about magazines versus clips in the past, but we wanted to spend a little bit more time on this. Um, we've had a huge influx of new shooters coming to the range, and they all seem to struggle with loading magazines. And since I've been in this for 25, 35, 40 plus years, I just take it for granted, and I can load a magazine um, with, you know, with my hands and look somebody else in the, the eye and have a conversation and don't think anything about it because I've already trained myself and I've got the hand strength to be able to do this over and over and over again. And since I've been doing it forever, I just, you know, a lot of new shooters think, oh, everybody can do this, but everybody has to start somewhere. So we're going to talk about, we've got a, 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 a magazine here. It's a double stack nine for an XD, you know, one of our favorites. And to, just to give you an idea of what we do in terms of technique for loading is you have to take a look right here and here. Those two little parallel lines are what's known as the magazine lips. And the lips are actually what retains the ammunition into the magazine. So for starters, you're gonna have to push down and then back to get them underneath the magazine lips so that they hold. Now, because you're pushing up against a spring, it's going to get harder every time you go, and especially with a new firearm. Um, one of the things that you can do if you want to loosen up the springs in your firearm is load them, put them away in your gun safe for a couple of weeks, and that's gonna actually help break them in by relieving some of those that tension. But anyway, Back to what we were talking about. For the second round and all the follow-up rounds, what I like to do is start by putting my thumb at the very back of the magazine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to position my two fingers like this, actually underneath the bullet. And they're going to act as a guide to hold the bullet steady. And I'm going to use that as a guide, and I'm going to use the same pressure with my thumb like you might use... Uh, if you got a shot at the ER, you know, with a hypodermic needle to push straight down between those fingers and then push thumb to thumb. If you're pushing thumb to thumb, you're going to be very strong. It's going to really help later on. So once again, I'm going to take these two fingers and line them up on either side of the bullet. That's going to act as a guide. And I'm going to use those to steady the bullet as I push down and then back. Again, push down and then, then back. Do this one more time. Push down and then back. Fairly simple if you've been doing it for most of your life, but if you're brand new to it, it's going to be a chore. And I hear this over and over again from my clients. Now, with, with some semi-autos, they're actually going to give you a loading tool, which is going to look something like this. This is actually for a Glock, but you can also, these also come with the XDs, and they actually fit right over the top of the magazine. And, and what it does is, is it has a little, um, I don't know what you want to call it, this post in the back, right back here. And what that does is, is that actually pushes down the follower in the magazine so that you can get the round started. But it's, it's pretty much a two-step process. You hold it in, let this come off, and then push it the rest of the way in. So it takes a little bit of coordination to actually get this to go. 
not bad, but it's, it's also not the best. This is what I would refer to as a passive loading tool. Okay, you can see you have to let pressure off of it before you can push it all the way to the rear. So that's something they usually include with the firearm and comes in the box. So if you're opening up a brand new firearm and you say, hey, what is this thing for? That's what it is. It's a passive loading tool. Now, one of the things that has become really popular in the last few years is a uh, product that comes from a company called Uplula. Now, we're not paid by Uplula. We don't make a dime off of this. If they want to call us and change that, we'd be thrilled. However, it's something most of us buy, we use it, we take it for granted. Now, what the Uplula is different is instead of being a passive loader, this one is actually mechanical and active. It actually has a small lock right here which allows you to lock it shut if you need to. I don't know why you'd need to. So that's with it unlocked. You'll also notice that there's a ramp right here. And on the top here, this also gives you an idea of the, the direction that the bullet goes in or the cartridge goes in. And, and to make one of these work, you basically put it over the top, squeeze in, push down, drop one in, let it out, go over the top, squeeze it in, push down, drop one in. And it's actually pretty fast. And the, the real big benefit of this is that if you go off for a long day shooting where you might be going to an extended class or a more advanced course, you might shoot three or four hundred rounds in a day. And this is really going to save your hands at the end of the day because you're not going to be putting so much effort into your thumbs. Now, right now I'm using it as a bench, but you know, there's other ways to do this. Um, for example, say you're out um, doing an advanced course and, and all you really have is you're in the middle of a dirt field. You can place the same, do the same thing, but maybe set this against your hip. And then just drop the bullet straight down like this. Lean it against your hip, pull it in, drop it in like so. So you can work this in multiple directions. If you've got it on your hip like this, then the, the, the ammo drops straight in. It's, it's pretty easy. Gravity is your friend in that case. Now, we're just using dummy rounds, actually snap caps here, just so that we can promote safety and not use live ammunition. Um, it's also worth noting uh, that with this particular um, model of Uplula, you can get these in multiple colors. Um, I've lost count all the different colors that are available. Um, I find that this color is the easiest one to lose in your shooting bag, so you might consider another one. Um, I actually have a bright orange lanyard that I attach to mine just to make it easier to find. And, and one of the really cool things about this particular product is this will actually load uh, cartridges anywhere from 380 through 9mm, 38 Super, all the way up to 40 and 45. Um, it's been designed so that you really only need one of these. Um, you can also get a special plate that goes on the bottom, which would help line things up if you're using a single stack like a 1911. Um, so it's a really good product. I'm sure that the guys who invented this are sitting on a beach somewhere just cashing checks, um, living the good life. So good for them. Now. You're going to find also that when it comes to 22s, it's going to be pretty much the same technique. You know, our, our 22 magazine here is a, uh, a single stack, and generally these are a little bit easier. You don't have the same spring tension, and you're basically, there's going to be a, a, a little notch that you can see right there in the magazine, and that's the corresponding place where the, the rim 
on the rim fire actually just slides right in. Now I'm just going to do this a couple times so that you can kind of see I'm pushing down and back. Now you're also going to find that um, they also have what I like to refer to as, as a passive loader that allows you to get it started. This is also good for saving, saving your hands, at, you know, not having to work so hard at the end of the day. But also it's worth mentioning that um, Uplula also makes ones for 22s, like you see here. And it works in the exact same fashion that the other one did before. You're just going to drop it in, let it out, go over the top, drop it into that same little V-groove and knock it back in, and rinse and repeat as necessary. So these are all going to be great products that are going to help save your hands, uh, make your shooting experience a little bit more enjoyable. Um, and actually, they're, they're kind of fun to use. I've had people that just love using them just because they're mechanical. Go figure. Um, anyway, they're, they're available at your better gun shops. They're available online. Um, we'll be sure to put in the information down in the information box so that you can go find them yourself. Um, they also make them for rifles. I know they make one for an AR-15. So it's worth looking at the entire product line just to see what's out there. Now, you're going to find that there are other magazine loaders that are available out there. Um, it's just the, the Up Lula, the Mag Lula seems to be the most popular and the ones that the gun stores seem to carry the most often. So, you know, I'm going to use what the gun store has and what my friends use and kind of follow their lead. So anyway, I uh, hope we've broken this down a little bit for you and help you have a little bit better understanding of magazines and how to load them. Uh, once again, there's a lot of magazines out there that are really stiff when they're new. If you want to load them up, put them in your gun safe for a couple of weeks, that's going to help uh, break them all in. Um, the other thing that I would recommend is um, also go through and eventually get a label maker and label the bottom of your magazines. Uh, generally, it's magazines that are the first thing that fail in a semi-auto. So if you have, a, have them numbered um, and you start having problems with magazine number one or the gun doesn't operate in magazine number one very well, you can take that magazine out of the lineup and insert magazine number two to see whether or not it's an issue with the gun or an issue with the magazine. So anyway, these are just things to get you to start thinking about and hopefully make your shooting uh, um, adventure just a little bit more fun. Anyway, we want to thank you very much for coming in and joining us on Shoot of the Series. I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. Hope that the next time you go to the range, you have a great time. Y'all take care.